Now let's uh, create an animated camera. It will follow uh, the fuse as it animates and eventually sort of settles on the bomb before it explodes. So we're going to do this by creating another curve, another Bezier curve. Uh, we're going to ghost the other objects. We're going to click and drag uh, to put the first point along here. Make sure you have the, um, the construction plane on. If it's not on, uh, you won't be on the ground with this. And then click drag uh, off to the side of the bomb here to create the second point over here and then press enter to complete. So this just creates a, a little curve that we'll put a null object on uh, that will allow the, the camera to point at this. This will be the, the look at point. And later if we want to we could move the curve around uh, or animate the, the null differently but, but this gives us a good starting point. And along this we want to create uh, an x a z axis channel of n, call it n, which just prepares us uh, for the null object when it's ready. So we put a null object, press enter to put it at the origin. We now want it to follow along the curve. So we're going to call this uh, the camera look at null. And to get that on the curve, we're going to go to the constraints, click on follow path, select the curve and press enter. And this creates a follow path where you now have you now have the null object moving along that path that we created fairly evenly. Uh, but it's doing it right now I think based on an expression. So what we might want to do is go back to here, right click and say delete channels and instead of using the expression we're going to set keyframes just so it works a little bit better. So we're going to position zero, we're going to press alt to set a keyframe. Now we're going to go to frame uh, 195. That's a little bit before, press one and alt. So that puts that, that, that path just a little bit before the explosion is going to occur. The animation layer, again we've got ease in, ease out. Uh, and we might want to just straighten that to make a more even uh, animation, but maybe slow it down a little bit at the top just to ease that out. So that will work. And, you know, it's a little subtle, but you'll see it goes evenly and then it just slows down a little bit at the end. Now the null object is something that we're going to point our camera at. So the camera is going to look at uh, that null object. So let's go back up to the object level. And we're going to go tab camera and just put one right there at the origin. Now, to position it, we're just going to use the move handle for now. We're going to zoom out and we're going to move along this axis, the z axis, the x axis to just get maybe the z axis a little bit more to get really close to that starting point. And then we're going to use the y axis to lift it up. So it's, it's going to be looking down at first uh, at the fuse. And we can tweak this later, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Then we click look at, select the null object as the look at point, and press enter. And the camera had to be selected when you click the constraint tool, but now you see the camera is pointing uh, at that null object throughout the path uh, of the animation. So if we go here and say let's look through that, let's see how that looks. So the first thing we're going to do is going to select the camera. So it's actually physically selected. And then what we can do is we can go to the handle tool and we can just move up and down to get a little bit closer to what we want. So this is actually moving the camera position using this handle so that's sort of in camera. So as we go there, we go, oh, that's looking pretty good. So it, it starts with the fuse. We'll follow along with the fuse. Maybe we angle it a little bit off to the side like this. Uh, we're going to go and it'll settle right in the corner there. Maybe we move a little bit closer there. And there we go. Now, so yeah, maybe go a little higher with that. That'll give us a, a better framing for that. And then we can always test it. So you can tweak back and forth with this. But the main thing is that uh, we've got a camera looking at a null object on a path. And that path is following along with the animation that we're using uh, here for this shot. So 
you know you can tweak that until you get exactly what you need and there we go that's looking pretty good that, that's framed nicely at the end for the explosion to occur now what we've got that let's take the objects that make up the camera so the camera the camera look at and the curve the path put those into a network box here and we'll just call this um, camera rig and we don't need that much anymore because everything's turned on that we need so let's just hide that and we're ready to go